Some things I hear in my head, and some things I know in real life. Like, for example, when my friend told me about the ter this terrorist they caught, uh, that was real life. Uh, like, sometimes, like, I heard, I heard what was ha about, about catching the NSA specifically after I caught them, uh, and, and that it was such a big deal, and then they showed up in my office. So sometimes I hear it in my head and it's confirmed in real life, sometimes I hear it in my head it's not confirmed. Okay, so one thing I've heard in my head is that the first time that I made the CIA's ra radar is because I was trying to start a women's rights movement in Egypt. I, I was trying to talk my friends into making flyers to go tell people about Islam and women's rights. And, uh, and, and I, was, I was actually kind of concerned about the Sudanese people too because I understand the refugee situation where all these Sudanese people have fled war-torn countries and they've gone to Egypt. It's kind of like... Um, all these Central Americans coming up to the United States, except Egypt's poor already. So it's like Central America goes to, to, to like a poor version of, Me of Mexico. All right, so um, I also understand that um, people m traveled from Eritrea and, um, and Ethiopia because they had a war and they traveled to Egypt. So Egypt has a refugee problem. And combine that with what, what are the countries real close? Libya, or Libya. Libya is where Gaddafi was, and that's where that, uh, that their movie they made uh, about Benghazi, I can't remember what it's called, the one about Hillary Clinton, no. It's, 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 about, it's about people killing Americans at an embassy. Um, all right, so what was I talking about? I was talking about how I made the CIA's radar. <laughs> Seriously, that, that, that's, that's my understanding about the situation. Um, I, I ended up not pursuing it because... Uh, no one said, okay, I'll make flyers for you. But I just said, we need to go and tell people about, about this because I'm really concerned with the sexual harassment in Egypt. And that's why I talked to them about it because everywhere you go in Egypt, hey, no, seriously, this is what they would say. Shakira, Shakira, like Shakira, like the singer. That one, the, the not Chinese version. Um, <laughs> okay. What I'm telling telling y'all is, um, I, I, I'm, a, I'm 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 a Middle East person. I'm a Middle East expert. Uh, I mean that I don't have to talk. The reason I'm talking about Africa when I'm talking about my national security chops is because I know my national security chops in, in Egypt are not in day compared to Joe Biden. Because I mean I, I do understand the Iraq War. He probably knows more details about the regions like the 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 the, the, the serious fighting that went on in Fallujah and stuff like that. Um, and, but I do understand like the Shia and the Sunni and I, I do realize, I actually understand the complicated relationship between Shia and Sunni because Saddam Hussein actually had a pretty good relationship with the Shia, even though he was Sunni. And um, I understand the relationship between the Christians and the Muslims out there in, in Lebanon. And I understand the refugee crisis that happened with Israel and how many Palestinians live in other countries like Jordan. And I understand what kind of country Jordan is. And I understand Saudi Arabia. And to tell you the truth, you talk to me about Oman, I'm probably not going to fully know that much about them. And you talk to me about Yemen, I'm going to know the wars going on, I'm going to know the Saudis are back on one side, I'm going to know about the Houthis, all that shit. But you know what I'm not going to know? Why? Like, what's, why does Yemen matter? I do understand Yemen matters if World War III breaks out because, like, you have this area and you got Djibouti and you got Eritrea and you got you Somalia. And you got all these, these countries that are, it's called, what is it, the Strait of Hormuz? I don't, I'm not sure which strait it is. Um, but there's, it, it goes, so over there, you got the Suez Canal. You got, okay, so you got, so everyone is always concerned about security around the oil transportation hubs that are, have choke points. Um, where you have to go through a smaller area. And that's kind of, because when, when a war breaks out, you got to really start thinking about like where the choke points are. And that's the thing about someone that knows where all the bases are. I'm, I'm, I know I'm going off on, on, on a side about proving my national security chops, but I know where our, I know we got troops in the Philippines, we got troops in Japan. I got I know we got troops on, in the DMZ, or next to the DMZ in, in South Korea. I, I know um, 
I know we got troops. Do we have Guam troops? I know we got we got a base in Hawaii. I know why we have a base in Hawaii. I know about how far planes can fly. Not really, but I generally I do know that our our, our long range bombers can make it that far. But if you have short, if you, but you need those short range fighters to protect them, and that's why we have aircraft carriers. But we also have submarines and things like that. Um, but um, but you, you, those, those short range like the, the F twenty two type planes, you, even like that F thirty five. Everyone's talking about it's real real expensive. Um, like F-35 type planes, um, my understanding is they ain't got the range that those long-range bombers have, but they're real, but they're fat. Well, F-35 ain't as fast as F-22. And I do understand, like, the that it's not all about your military. It's about the way that your strategy is, because throughout all of history, badass militaries got their ass kicked. That's the truth. People think they're the shit, spent sh sh shit tons of money. Get their ass beat by someone that ain't too, too strong because they got number one home field advantage because they're hiding their capping your ass from a distance. But number two, they just they just don't fully understand their enemy and they're overconfident. And I understand that like the last thing I'm ever going to be is overconfident. It's crazy. I, I'm the most confident person in the world because I know one thing: our technology is so much more superior than theirs. But I'm still humble because I know that if I make a mistake, I die. And so I understand some people are going, are you sure Kat Timp's got the, the international relations chops? And what I'm telling you, she can learn and um, I'm going to be involved with, with, with like something, if she's doing something major. And also I think she, I think she's capable on her own. But I'm telling you, she's not going to be alone. She's going to have a team. I'm going to go find me some real experts over there in the State Department. You know why? Because I'm, I'm going to know if they're an expert. Because I am like, yeah, I can mix up Sri Lanka, two two countries in the south southeast of India. But you know what else I know? I know that in the southeast of India, well, that's that's where um, Calcutta is, right? Uh, or maybe just pure east. And then, it, well, southeast is actually Sri Lanka. But um, but actually, e e southeast kind of is 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 is, 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 is it, okay. And then in up, up northeast, you got the Himalayas, and you got Nepal. And, and that that's another state and then you you got Delhi which is over to the left and that's that's the biggest state that's Upper Pradesh India and then Modi is actually from West India Modi's the prime minister he's a very religious man he's very he's very Hindu and that's one of the reasons people like him because he, he 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 was a, a chaiwala he was one of them people that passes out tea and he was a businessman and everyone in India respects that guy because he made it he's like Chris Rock Chris Rock got a GED, brilliant man. He made it on his own, and that's why everyone likes Modi. And Modi's from West India. That's closer to Pakistan, but it's not no Northwest India, which is where um, where the water comes from, and it's and it, it's 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 where Kashmir is, and where they got a lot of conflicts with them, them Pakistanis. It's almost like a demilitarized zone. It's like shared area, and. Everyone kind of cares about that area. Even China cares about it. China cares about a lot of things. That's why China's had some border conflicts with India in the past over the Himalayans. Um, China um, also took over Tibet. And um, that's why the, the Dalai Lama don't live there. And China hates the Dalai Lama. That's because China can't read the Dalai Lama and see how beautiful his brain is. Because I know a lot of them Chinos. Chinos, Chinos. Chinos love that Buddha. And you know who likes that Buddha? The, the Dalai Lama. And even if you don't think the Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama ain't no Buddha, or whatever you want to call him, you can call him Bodhisattva. You can think that Dalai Lama ain't no Bodhisattva. But what I'm telling you is that man is a wise, wise teacher. And if, if you're a Buddhist, you should probably appreciate his teaching. They just don't like him because Dalai Lama believes Tibet should, be, should belong to Tibet. All right. All I'm saying is no comparison between Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and me on foreign policy. I know a lot more. Plus, I think different about it. I'm creative. I ain't doing whatever the Democratic Party tells me. You know why? Because I don't give a shit what your people do, if your people are telling me something that's wrong. I'm going to do what's right because I, I, I actually have a brain. And you know what? I'm going to convince you to join me because you'll agree with me, probably. If not, you're not going to talk about it because I'll be the boss.